Hey everyone, welcome to this video on Code Vita Round 2. I'm going to give you three quick tips about Code Vita Round 2. Number one, what is the eligibility criteria? Who can actually go ahead and attend it? Number two, uh, what are the topics that you definitely need to know to prepare for it? And number three, do you actually get a job at the end of Code Vita Round 2? So stay tuned to find out. Let's dive in. Uh, the first things first is who's actually eligible to do Code Vita Round uh, 2? Well, you have to have cleared Round 1. It's as simple as that. If you don't know if you've cleared Round 1, then just check your email. Uh, it's been at least about uh, five, six months since round one happened. So you may have received the email. In fact, many people received uh, the interview call based on round one itself. So if you have not received email that you cleared round one, then you have most likely not qualified for round two. Still do log on to Campus Commune and check out whether you've logged, if you're, whether you're eligible or not. But most likely if you've not received an email till now, that means you've not really cleared round one. Uh, the contest starts at 9 a.m. on 6th Feb, that's a Saturday, ends at 9 a.m. on 7th Feb uh, on uh, Sunday. And these are all Indian Standard Time. So if anybody is watching out of Indian Standard Time, my apologies, but these are all Indian Standard Times. Uh, you will get about six hours. That's generally how Code Vita works. So unless they've changed anything this time, you'll get about six hours uh, to complete the test. Uh, this time it doesn't look like they're going to give a digital offer so uh, in the previous video we had also mentioned that you could probably get a digital offer right from code beta round 2 this time it doesn't really look like that there has been no official communication from tcs however one small thing i want to mention is that sometimes depending on the college they may offer you like more or less uh, packages or rather you, they, you may have a chance of getting a digital offer depending that if your college is on their shortlist or on their grade a lists or things like that so for that please do check out with your tpo and the tpo will definitely help you out in that sense right uh, if you are basically on that list or not okay uh, the topics that you should revise again if you've seen our previous videos then you would know this but some of the topics you should revise they definitely love to ask advanced maths advanced arrays questions so when i say advanced arrays you should know advanced sorting techniques you should know you know how to apply binary search in the right places you should know two pointers approach if you don't know two pointers approach then um, let me tell you it has nothing to do with pointers of c plus plus it's a completely different approach altogether you have to know backtracking dynamic programming dp is the same thing as dynamic programming let me remove that but yeah you need to know dynamic programming um you need to know graphs which is your uh, and the thing is in graphs you should know the basic algorithm dijkstra's uh, kruskal's prims the thing is last time i've seen a few questions come in and students didn't know how to solve it because they've never seen that graph algorithm. So my advice to you would be that if you get a graph like a question, don't try to solve it yourself. Try to find out what other algorithms already exist for a graph and just try to apply that algorithm. You don't need to invent a Dijkstra or a Kruskal or a Prim's algorithm. Don't invent that algorithm. Last time I know a few students who spent four hours just inventing that algorithm and they found out that, oh, this algorithm already existed. We should have just applied it as is, right? Be ready for long problems. So Code Vita loves challenging problems, but those challenging problems will be very difficult in implementation also, right? So be ready for those kind of problems as well. Uh, we have covered a bunch of Code Vita problems. You can go ahead and check them out. Uh, before I go out and tell you what to do, these are the topics that you should plan for. Now, if you've never heard of these topics, I'll tell you how to prepare for them. But all of these topics, uh, they are not completely exhaustive. You could get a stacks question, you could get a queues question, but chances are very less. I have very rarely seen uh, Code Vita asking anything to do with the data structures. If at all, they ask on trees or on heaps, but that also very rarely. Most of the times they like to stick to your maths, arrays, DP, those kind of questions and graphs. They definitely love to ask graph questions. So if you have only like about three, four hours to prepare, uh, a very little time to prepare, I would suggest you go ahead and check out some of our previous videos. Uh, check out this video called Lazy Student, right? It, we had a very different way of calculating NCR in that video. So do check out that Lazy Student question. Check out the grid coloring question, which is not only a, a code beta question, but it will give you an idea of how dynamic programming actually works. Um, and you will, we have, we covered like about five questions in the December daily challenges for dynamic programming. So you could check out those as well. And finally, uh, we did a question on prime counters in the previous Code Vita round two questions. You can check that out also. That's a directly a previously Code Vita round two question as well. All these videos, I'm putting it in the description and in the comments below. So feel free to go out and check it out over there. And these are just three videos to get you started, but we have 
more than like 40 50 videos just on code vita so just search for code vita edist and you'll get a ton of videos on our channel uh, and you know you'll be able to prepare in that way you can also sign up for the edist code vita course also mentioned in the description below uh, that already has in the free section some uh, code vita questions so you can go ahead and check those out as well it's in completely in the free questions uh, and yeah if you are somebody who really does not know how to prepare for such advanced topics if you're thinking man i have no idea on how to prepare for these kind of topics uh, let me tell you that you can all join the advanced algos and data structures course of edist you can you, can, you all can join for algos and data structures course of edist um, this is a completely new course that's being launched by us um, we i am the lead instructor in that and I, we will have you know daily live classes in this uh, daily or weekly live classing dependent on your schedules it's not a recorded section it's not a recorded uh, lecture rather it is all live lectures which where you get to interact with me uh, and the instructors you can click on this link over here to go and check it out we are launching a new batch in february itself which we're going to finalize by mid of february so if you are interested please do reach out to us uh, on that uh, on that course and you know we'll, we'll hook you up with it there's a bunch of things there we take all of the previously asked questions from these product companies you have a weekly sessions with instructors you also get referrals to companies and you also get industry awareness sessions so all of this is packed up over here you don't have to pay anything afterwards it's just a one-time payment to get into the course and then no payment later on uh, there's no success fee or anything like that which other boot camps charge so yeah uh, you can also sign up for the algos and data structures course which is mentioned in the description below and also on this link over here this one so yeah that was a quick roundup of the code vita round 2 2020 uh, or rather i should say season 9 that's a quick roundup of that again check out some of the topics that i mentioned check out the previous videos uh, not covering any new uh, questions here because we've already covered so many questions before of code vita so do check those out and yeah if you are someone who really wants to aim for high packages uh, and you know is so interested in learning all the advanced questions uh, please reach out to us on the advanced algos and data structures bootcamp uh, and we'll hook you up with that one thanks everybody for watching this video for any queries reach out to us on whatsapp or on email we are happy to help and yes don't forget to like this video so that we can produce more such videos to help you subscribe to this video and share this video with any of your friends who's actually attempting code beat around to or is preparing for a high level product company and let us know in the comments below if you like this kind of videos we're, we're doing shorter videos these days so if you like these kind of videos uh, and what you like about them and what are the other kind of topics that you'd want us to cover thanks everybody for joining in today and i'll see you all next time all the best